Hello, welcome to your weekend update from the Met Office. Further wet and windy weather heading across the country on Saturday. Strong winds, heavy rain and, yes, some snow across parts of northern Britain. We have warnings in force for all three elements on Saturday. Now, the wet and windy weather does slowly head away through Saturday and Sunday looks a little brighter in places, but there'll still be lots of showers and those showers will be heavy and possibly turn into thunderstorms and it will also be turning colder through Sunday. Signs of the weather settling down as we go into next week. But through the weekend, plenty to talk about. Here's the big picture. Low pressure systems have been bringing wet and windy weather all week. And this one is developing and intensifying as it moves towards the country on Saturday. The weather fronts will bring rain. Isobars packed together across the south means it'll be very windy here. And as it meets some colder air, the wet weather across parts of the north will be falling as snow. Now, there's some uncertainty about exactly how far north or how far south that weather system is, but it looks at the moment as if Northern Ireland, southern Scotland, northern England will see some snowfall through Saturday. Over the hills, we could see 10, maybe 20 centimetres of snow. And even to relatively low levels, there could be a few centimetres and that could cause some travel problems. It's going to be a very blustery day, particularly along the south coast. And after a very wet week, more heavy rain, brighter colours there, that's not good news and could cause some flooding issues. So as I said at the start, there are warnings in force for the snow, the rain and the wind for Saturday. Make sure you keep up to date with those weather warnings. It's a blustery day. And it's a wet day, but parts of northern Scotland may not see too much in the way of rain or winds. But it's going to be a cold day here. Temperatures really struggling, particularly where we've got snow coming down. Further south, actually pretty mild. Temperatures could get close to the teens. But of course, it won't feel all that mild because of the wind and the rain. Now, this circulation, this area of low pressure, bringing the wet and windy and wintry weather on Saturday does ebb away through Saturday night. As it clears, well, the winds could get pretty strong down the east coast for a time. And also as it clears, well, the colder air pushes right across the country, the whole of the map turning blue. So that's, that's why Sunday will have that colder feel to it. The wind's coming right down uh, from the far north. So a colder feel. There'll be some sunshine on Sunday, but there'll also be bands of showers drifting south. And again, over the hills, these showers will have sleet and snow mixed in maybe even at times down to lower levels. And there could certainly be some hail and some thunder thrown into those showers too. There will be some brighter spells in between the showers. We should see at least a little bit of sunshine on Sunday, but it will be feeling colder. Temperatures lower generally, particularly across the south, you'll notice that difference. And uh, while you add on the strength of the wind, it will feel, oh well, barely above freezing in some spots, particularly when those showers come along. So it's turning colder through the weekend, but it's also slowly calming down a little bit. And there'll be a frost on Sunday night into Monday morning. But I'm optimistic that next week, high pressure means the weather should be an awful lot calmer. We may even see a return to some spring sunshine. But that's next week. We've got a lot to get through during the weekend. Make sure you keep up to date with the weather warnings through our app. Follow us on social media. Well, there's always more on our website.